We finally got the news that broke the internet and all of the woke activists on Twitter are having complete and utter meltdowns today because of this absolutely earth shattering news that we got from HBO Max. Entertainment reporters rage against Max's, I guess it's just called Max now, not HBO Max, but I'm probably still going to call it HBO Max. Rage against the Harry Potter series, which is going to have JK Rowling attached as a producer. And of course, we all see why they're mad they're all mad at jk rowling because she is uh apparently transphobic and all of this type of stuff even though that isn't necessarily the case but this is all just absolutely ridiculous this is how these the, that's how these people operate if you do not align yourself 100 percent with the agenda with the ideology then you will become an a target for these types of people but platform craves dollar signs and ignores jk rowling's howling media critics and of course they do because they know at the end of the day there is money to be made by doing a harry potter series they know that if they have jk rowling involved they're going to make money and that is exactly what they're doing with this any project tied to british author jk rowling inspires fury from a small but vocal minority we saw that anew with hogwarts academy uh hogwarts legacy the video game sensation spawned from rowling's harry potter universe boycotts greeted the video game's arrival even though rowling had no direct involvement with the title and this was a really good point that i've seen some people bring up recently is that we see all these leftist weirdos out there that love to say that people like me are snowflakes or whatever because i get mad at things that are happening and in, in video games and films and stuff yet the same time they are the same people that are you know trying to cancel p uh, players for playing hogwarts legacy or they're the same people that are crying about things that are in hogwarts legacy or not even in hogwarts legacy just the fact that it was based on a world that was created a fantasy world that was created by jk rowling that is all the the reason that they need to be outraged, to have these crazy meltdowns, is absolutely hilarious. That fu fury is magnified by select press outlets eager to weaponize Rowling's critics at every turn. Why? Rowling doesn't adhere to the trans activist playbook. For that, she's been canceled as much as any public figure in recent memory. Woke mob rages after J.K. Rowling boards HBO Max Harry Potter series. And I'm actually pretty interested to see this because if she's going to be attached, that means that she's is going to have to be there to give the direct vision of what she envisioned for this world which is absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to see what we're going to be getting with the show but it sounds like they do not plan on bending the, the knee to the woke mob whatsoever jk is an executive producer and her insights will be helpful we are in the harry potter business the tv show is new and exciting but we've been in the harry potter business for 20 years this isn't a new decision we're comfortable being in the potter business jk is is a very online conversation and that is of course we all know exactly why they're saying that but this is hilarious the way they're responding they're basically just telling all the haters to f off and that is something that we need to see more people doing it's very nuanced and complicated and not something we're going to get into our priority is what's on screen the harry potter story is incredibly affirmative and positive about love and acceptance and that's our priority what's on the screen <laughs> <laughs> absolutely amazing so with that being said let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below what do you think about the news about this hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon